Hello YouTube, this is Puck. Welcome in my MacBook 1.1. I want to show you how to create a bootable Leopard Snow um, USB stick or a Lion uh, USB stick or even a Maverick USB stick. And now we got Jasmine. So this is also how to create a Jasmine uh, bootable USB stick. And we're going to do this on their Mac. So what to do? Well, if you have the DMG file, if you picked it out of your app uh, download folder and you put it on your desktop and you run it, then you will get something like this. You know, an installer like saying install Mac. Of course, you will not install it because we want to create a bootable USB stick. The second thing that we will do is we will open disk tools uh, how is this called um, this you can find in uh, let me show you because this is also for the people that you know it's called a uh, disk disk utility disk utility okay when you double click that then you got this and here in this utility most people think this is complicated well this this first first drive here that is your um, that is your your drive of your computer this is the Lexar with on it the iEdcos L2 uh, bootable USB files but we are gonna uh, create a new one cause uh, I'm not happy about how, how uh, I or the, oh, pff, I wanted to say the minster I, I don't like how iEdcos L2 but that is Lion 2 you know how Lion 7 10.7.2 runs on my macbook pro you know it's my machine is getting way too hot i think that is too hot you know um so uh what we're gonna do we're gonna create a bootable uh, snow leopard cd okay so i have the original cd here this is the mac os x install dvd you know um this is original from mac so first of all this is the USB stick that we want it on, so we will go to partition. At here, we will select create one partition, but in options, we will also select click a guide partition. It will be master boot record. If you do this for the first time, it will be on master boot record. So you must make sure to put it on guide partition table. Then you hit OK, and you can call this install installer. Okay. Of course, it's a Mac OS X journal partition, and then we just hit apply. This will go pretty fast, and then the stick will be partition filled. Could not unmount the disk. Okay, then just pull it out. And put it into another USB port, whatever. Here we have another one. So boom. So there it is again. So this is the uh, the Lexar. So let's partition her again. Uh, we're gonna create one partition installer options a guide partition so apply partition so you can see that my temperature here is going up to 72 degrees so this is also getting pretty warm. I never saw it because I never installed this little SMC program until yesterday. Okay, so now we created the installer. Here you can see the installer. So uh, what will we do now? Well, it's really easy. We will select restore here on top. So what is the source? The source is the Mac OS X installer DVD. And what will be the destination the destination will be the installer here you see that peeps 
and then we just hit restore and if you do this with adjustment with adjustment uh, uh, DMG then first it will start scanning it will start scanning the whole uh, the whole uh, yeah uh, file for errors and then it will start copying after that it might go wrong the first time just try it again and you know it will then go right so or just change USB port sometimes you must change the USB port because one port is faster than the other you know just do that and try again you know you will succeed but this is the way how to create a bootable USB stick for uh, JustMid, for Mavericks, for uh, Lion all versions for Leopard Snow um, and for Leopard. So that's it peeps. Thanks for watching again. If you like this information, hit this video like and till my next video.